Aaron, what did you think of Kluber this afternoon? I thought Corey threw the ball well. Um, you know, had a pretty easy first couple innings there, um, you know, and then had to extend himself a little bit, had that little stretch there where he lost the zone a little bit, um, you know, but he, he just the movement on his pitches, the ability to move in and out, I thought was really good. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was going a little shorter with him today, obviously. Um, and when he went back out for that eighth, I probably wasn't going to let him go more than 80, 85 pitches. So unless he was real efficient or if he, he, he got in any trouble there, I was, I was going to go. But um, I thought overall it was another good step for him. You opted to use Chad Green for a four-out save. Was that always the plan to use him, or is it just what the situation dictated and, and kind of what you got yourself into there? Yeah, it's just situational. Um, you know, obviously, Loisaga comes in and gives us two really good innings. Um, it was good to get Lucas in there. I thought he threw the ball well, you know. Uh, they kind of dorked one in there, and then, you know, he bounced a couple to really give him the run there. It's just, you know, <clears throat> wanting that lane there for, for O'Day you know, with their righties there in the middle. So it was just kind of going to be where we were in the lineup, and, and that's how I was going to go with it. Jay Bruce got his first hit as a Yankee, added two insurance runs in that sixth inning. What have you thought of him, not only at the plate, but also at first base? Um, the, the play at first was really good, uh, a really tough play. Uh, I think tougher than it even looked. I mean, obviously it lays out for it, but a ball that's hit soft like that, it's kind of hard to stick. And he's able to stick, and I like when he got up the wherewithal to know I got to get to the bag in a position if I can't beat him there to be ready to flip the ball. So I thought I thought it was a pretty good instinctual play. Um, you know, I thought he battled. You know, off that's a tough pat matchup there. That's their lefty lefty special. Um, you know, he's able to throw one out there. So glad he was able to get that big one out of the way. Go next to Bruce Beck. Bruce, go ahead. Aaron, what is it like to get the first win? It seemed as though the sky was falling out uh, on on Thursday with with all the fans. You know, it was just one ball game, but just to get the first victory of the year, you know, how special is that? Great. Um, you know, I, as I say, you know, with with our team, um, with individuals, uh, you know, this is the time of the year you you want guys to. You want to get those firsts out of the way so you can just kind of settle in and just get into the grind of the season. Um, and today was a really good, hard-fought uh, team victory where a lot of guys had played a, played a part in it, which is nice. Marley Rivera, please unmute. Um, hi, Aaron. Um, Aaron Hicks with uh, two back-to-back -back three strikeout games, which he had never done before. What are you seeing from him at the plate? Well, I think they've pitched them tough. Um, you know, they've um, – I feel like they've executed well against them. Um, you know, he's had a couple of probably pitches within those at-bats to do something with that he hasn't. So, um, really liked his last at-bat where he fell behind again in the count. But, you know, does what he does and kind of works his way back in and ends up, you know, getting the leadoff walk there or, or after one, at, one was out, I think. Um, so – Nothing I'm too concerned about. Go next to Justin Shackle. Go ahead. Hey, Aaron. Uh, what is uh, what has stood out to you about the way Gary Sanchez has looked at the plate these first two games? On time. I, I feel like he's he's you know, just feel like he's on his backside um, and and getting behind the ball and getting off his a swing and he's on time with it and uh, you know I feel like he's walking up there. Um, to be aggressive, and uh, you know, usually when that's the case and you're on time, that that's when you're able to, you know, end up working a walk or working the count a little bit. When you are going up there early in the count on the hunt, I feel like he's done a really good job of that. But more than anything, mechanically, I just feel like he's he's on his backside behind the ball and, and getting off some good swings. Is it more impressive and telling you anything further since it's coming? Off some off speed pitches. Does that tell you anything about his comfort level? Um, I don't know. I mean, I I feel like he's winning pitches up there, which 
which is good to see. I, I feel like every at bat he's been in the fight, you know, and he's been, you know, even his last at bat, you know, with runners on there, you know, hits the ball hard up the middle. They're just into the shift there, but it's a good at bat, you know, and I feel like really by and large these first two days, it's been a lot of quality at bats, giving himself a real good chance. And, and when he does that, obviously he's as dangerous as they come. Brian Hoke, you have the next question. Aaron, you've talked about Lewisaga being a, a weapon out of the bullpen for you. Is that about as sharp as you've seen him? We've seen we've seen that at times, uh, really, every year. Um, and, and last year, I feel like before he got sick, he was throwing the ball really well. So um, <clears throat> I'm excited about where he's at. You know, he threw the ball really well in spring. You know, he's obviously a very important guy down there, especially as we have some guys down. Um, so I'm excited about the way he's throwing the ball and and the, you know, the bit, many things he brings to the table. You know, whether it's a a big high leverage inning, um, you know, whether it was today where he's able to go out there and give us two innings, um, you know, the ability to get both handed out, um, like where he's at, and and we need him to be we need him to continue to be strong for us.